Hello and welcome to Sustainable Truth. Today we are going to talk about new Model Y improvements, structural battery pack and giga castings. So recently there was few videos that came out from Monroe Associates. They got their hands on a Texas-built Model Y with Giga Castings and Structural Battery Pack. At first I had some doubts regarding how viable these cars will be for repairs, since the battery pack will be integrated into the frame. Are they going to be hard to remove, will you need to cut the battery pack out of the chassis of the car? These things are not that important for the sales of the car, but later, in case any issues arise to repair the vehicle, it would be costly to the service department if the car is under warranty or to the customer if out of warranty, that being said, let's look at what they have done. So as you can see, they managed to make it so it's fully detachable from the car, it even comes out with the seats, carpets, center console and trim pieces. All it takes is 38 bolts from the bottom and 4 from the top, and you can drop the pack down without issues. The connections and cooling lines are quite simple fittings as well. The interesting thing is the whole pack with the seats and all the stuff on it weighs 1,198 pounds. Or around 545 kilograms. Monroe Associates have stated that it's only half of the weight of other EVs battery on its own that they are tearing down at the moment. Which is a huge weight saving therefore providing more range. And that's not considering that the structural bottom parts of the car is not needed. Keep in mind that these new packs already use the new 4680 cells which have better energy density and are around 50% cheaper to make than the usual 2170 cells. It also had much smaller factory footprint therefore enabling Tesla to make the batteries in the same building where they are assembling cars, eliminating the need of shipping and logistics. The next big thing is the actual giga casting piece of front of the car. You can see that the front of the car is basically one giga casting, and it's designed for most of the parts of the car to screw directly to it. You can see the crash bar still screws onto the casting, so if there was a small crash, this would not damage the casting, therefore if that crash would be hard enough to bend the chassis of any other car, it would be a write-off anyway. So there is no real disadvantage for repairing the car either. Monroe Associates also get deep into other parts and updates, which seem not that major in the video, however it all adds up in tool costs, logistics and management, assembly times etc. You can check out their full teardown videos in description below. Elon Musk has stated that the structural pack is the right architecture, but it still has a lot of room for optimization. This just goes to show that Tesla does not stop there and will continue to optimize. This really pushes them ahead of competition especially some of the legacy auto. Here is why. Many traditional automakers are producing their electric cars on the same platform as their internal combustion engine cars. This is utilizing their current assets. However it prevents optimization in such drastic ways as Tesla, because the cars are not built to be electric from ground up and cannot move away from ICE-based design. Take for example this BMW i4. It is using the same frame as its petrol M4 model. Under the hood you can see a lot of pipework running all over the place, this is because it's not integrated from ground up. It's put together almost as a conversion from the petrol model. All these pipes and extra lines need extra power to pump and is less efficient due to heating and cooling losses in the circuit. All these things add to the cost and decrease range of the car. Compare this to Tesla's heat pump design and it becomes clear which technology is in the lead. Hope you enjoy this short and depth video of Model Y improvements. Please let us know in the comments what topics you would like me to cover. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated, as well as a like and subscribe. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.